Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tip tricks and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the top 5 fast farms you need in your survival world. With that being said, let's jump straight on into the video. Fast farm number 1 is the gold farm. You can use this farm with a single portal or 4 portals like I've got here. It is way more OP and fast if you do have four portals, although the speed of one portal alone is just incredible, to be fair. I mean, you get so much gold from this gold farm, it is actually insane. Now, you don't just get gold, but you can actually get XP from this farm, but to get XP from this farm, you are going to need to install a Trident Killer. Remember, if you're using a Trident Killer, you want to use a Looting 3 Sword to get the maximum amount amount of loot. Also, if uh, you want to mend your items, you can quite literally just stand here using a trident killer. You will get some XP. To be honest, it doesn't even take that long to fix your items. I'm just going to fix this shovel and my other tools and uh, yeah, I'll be back. And just like that, we have fully mended armor and tools and it didn't take that long. And to top it off, we also have a bunch of rotten flesh, which I'm going to show you what we can use that for a little bit later. And not to mention, we have so much gold. Of course, now we do have to get rid of these gold swords. That's why sometimes I just like to use full damage because you don't actually get the gold sword. But with using the full damage, you don't actually get the XP. So you have a little bit of a compromise. It's entirely up to you. As I said, I'll show you what we can use this for a little bit later. Let's get on to the next farm. Next on the list, we got the multi-use bone meal farm. This thing can grow bamboo, sugarcane, and with some very small adjustments, drip leaves, and also twisted vines. There's just a few things that this farm can grow, and to top it off, it is so fast to build. What I'm going to do is build it, but without speaking, if that makes sense. I'm going to show you exactly how fast this thing is to build. All the items to actually build it are in this chest right here. What I'm going to do, as I said, build it without speaking and see how long it takes me to build. On your marks, get set, go!
And that is farm complete. All we need to do now is grab ourselves whatever we want to grow. I'm going to grow some sugarcane. I'm going to place the sugarcane just here. And turn it on. And that, my friends, is farm... Oh, well, near enough. I just got to add the redstone. <laughs> Lol. Make sure you click this once as well. Okay, we'll get some uh, stoppage. And that, my friends, is farm complete. Of course, this farm does need bone meal to actually, you know, grow stuff. However, the next farm on the list will give you just that. And not only will this give you bone meal, it will give you a number of other options to do with it as well. For example, we can get a little bit of XP. We can bulk this system up to make it even better. Better. But uh, yeah, we can get a little bit of XP. We can actually use it as food. We can turn it into blocks and use it as uh, fuel. We can use the blocks as decoration. I mean, they kind of look like Christmas presents. Kind of. Of course, we're talking about the kelp farm. This thing most definitely should be patched. This thing gets patched really, really often. And I am super surprised that it is still working. This thing gives out so much kelp. Just look at that. And to top it off, we need zero fuel. When I say zero fuel, I mean zero fuel. I mean, that is crazy. What I will do is put a full tutorial in the description below of this exact farm. But just before we move on, I should also mention there is one more use that you can do with kelp that is really, really OP. I'm going to get onto that a little bit further on into the video. Fast farm number four is my villager breeder. This thing is not only really fast to set up, but once it gets going, it will breed so fast as well. Basically, there are two farmers in the center. All you have to do is feed them a little bit of bread and these guys should breed for days they already did start breeding a little bit as you can see we have one little baby just there and a couple adults but as i said once they do start breeding they breed so fast i think they just had a another baby right now pretty nice but why exactly would you want access to so many villagers well here's a few reasons reason number one believe it or not this guy that i'm looking at is an illegal villager you can get yourself uh, access to illegal villagers that always hold items. This is a nitwit that always holds bread. He can only ever just hold bread. But you can get other villagers holding different items. As you can see here, I've got Jimmy holding an emerald. This guy will literally hold an emerald forever now this one's only good if you do collect illegals like illegal items and blocks and stuff otherwise yeah it's not that great another really great use for villagers is iron this thing that i'm standing on right now produces so much iron at least enough iron for me to use if you haven't got an iron farm in your world i would definitely recommending using some villagers to make yourself an iron farm villagers also can be used in raid farms and i don't know if you know but raid farms are super OP. You can get so much loot and so many totems of undying. As I said, villagers are really important and that's why it's important for you to have a villager breeder. I'm going to put this in the description below. And there is one more use for villagers that I didn't mention. And that, of course, is villager trading, which brings me on to fast farm number five. The OP villager trading station. This villager trading station really is like no other station you have ever seen. Within five minutes of joining this realm, you can quite literally get kitted out with some pretty OP stuff. That includes every single diamond enchanted tool. You can get yourself a full suit of diamond enchanted armor. You can quite literally buy food so you will never starve. And to make things even better, by purchasing any item, you actually receive a little bit of XP for doing Doing the trade and also we can quite literally buy xp and if you buy enough xp you can literally make one of these super cool xp showers and have xp rain on your head i mean that's pretty cool right i can also get unlimited emeralds by simply purchasing bookshelves breaking the bookshelves and then selling the exact same villager the books that i just broke from the bookshelf rinse and repeating that method i literally have unlimited emeralds remember earlier when i said there was something that we can do with this rotten flesh well there actually is we can get emeralds and xp for this rotten flesh i mean pretty good right and the other use for the kelp blocks well we can also sell those for emeralds meaning we can get xp and emeralds for kelp and another feature on my farm is i have every single maxed out enchanted book for one emerald trade in fact 
every item in this farm is quite literally one emerald tree and i have never ever done any curing whatsoever this farm is truly the most op farm that you can have in your game i very recently did a full tutorial on how you can make yourself this exact farm now it does take a little while to set up but once you've set it up as i said you will have fast access to pretty much every item in the game when i say every item i mean you can quite literally buy every item you're ever gonna need off of villagers there we have it there are my top five fast farms that you need in your survival world if you've got a fast farm that you think should be on this list let me know in the comments below i'll catch you on the next one